Once it so happened, a professor asked Swami Vivekananda, Suppose in the street you find a book of philosophy and some money, what you would take? The Swami Vivekananda said, I will take money. The professor said, I would take up the philosophy book, the book of wisdom. The Swami Vivekananda said, you only take what you don't have. <laughs> the professor was so irritated with Swami Vivekananda because the way he dresses, the way he was. Swami Vivekananda went and sat in the same table in the restaurant when he was having some food. Then the professor said to him, look, a pig and a bird cannot sit on the same place and have food. Then Swami Vivekananda said, yes, I can fly away anytime. <laughs> so man with the self-knowledge will not get angry at the time. You call me pig and blah, 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 and fight with each other. You are so confident. Then you are not raffled with somebody saying, this is no good, puja is no good, worship is no good, temple is no good. Okay, so what? You don't get rattled by it because you know there is meaning, there is purpose in everything. And there is no meaning and no purpose in anything. <laughs> anything you do, anything in this creation, it completely meaningless, purposeless. Because it's just a game. Games do not have a purpose. Don't even tell me the purpose of game is to gain joy. Game is an expression of joy. You are happy and then you kick the ball. <laughs> this is the real game. And if you are waiting for the goal to happen and then find the joy, you are not playing a game. Since you make the ball enter into the net, you are not enjoying, you are not expressing life. Do you see what I am saying? If you are happy, you kick the ball and it goes to the goal, then the whole process is an expression of joy. Whole universe is considered a play of consciousness. Because it's just playing, it's just kicking the ball from this corner to that corner and stopping it there and kicking it back this side. It's a soccer game. Today the war has become a game and game has become a war. It's a spiritual knowledge which makes you realize life is a game and a game is an expression of life. It's nothing but an expression of joy. You are happy and you just want to go and celebrate. Don't have to open the vodka you are bubbling joy and you express your life in games. See, life is so magnanimous, so big. What you think about life is only tip of the iceberg. Life we think oh, is, is survival, some job, some money, some relationship, making ends meet. I think this is all life is. The whole life revolves around health, money, relationship and reputation. And going round and round and trying to catch one, then the other, then the other, then the other. One becomes so miserable. And when you are miserable, you lose all the four. <laughs> when we become miserable, you, you lose health, Money, you lose reputation and you lose relationship. <laughs> this is what people consider as life. Isn't that so? Now what we are saying is revolutionary. Life is celebration. Life is commitment. Life is wisdom and life is seva. Now my dear, you have such short period on this planet. Why you make so many people miserable around you? And you become miserable yourself. Who said what, when and where is, is not important. It's not important at all. So when life revolves around commitment, caring, service, celebration and acquiring wisdom, creating celebration around, uplifting human spirit, Pumping enthusiasm in others and in oneself. Being committed, committed to doing good. If it revolves around this four, money comes, reputation comes, relationships improves, and then health remains robust. So what you wanted, you already got it. When you don't focus on them. <laughs>